The PAR Monitor 2019-2020 is the result of monitoring work performed in 2020 by the members of the Think for Europe network, and it represents a compilation report of key findings from across the Western Balkans in the six areas of public administration reform, PAR, defined by the Sigma OECD principles of public administration. This is the second systematic PAR monitoring done in the region by civil society. Policies determine how a government and its institutions interact and affect the lives of citizens and businesses. Policy making practices in a democratic society must be transparent, evidence based, inclusive, and based on sound problem analysis. Policy development processes in the Western Balkans continue to suffer from insufficient use of evidence and data. Capacities for policy analysis are lacking and the quality of evidence and data used is often inadequate. Governments in the region still do not adequately publish performance information on their work. Communication through press releases is fairly common, but less so when it comes to annual work and performance reports. A good example is Bosnia and Herzegovina, where the Council of Ministers has kept up with its good practice of consistently publishing annual reports. Improvements in regularity of publishing government reports are also noted in North Macedonia and Montenegro. While half of the governments in the region have established reader-friendly approaches to reporting on their work, information on results, rather than just implemented activities, remains scarce. There is still little public involvement in the development of legislation and policy documents, and its impact on policy design is still largely insignificant. In most cases, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Kosovo and Montenegro, and in over 70% of cases in Serbia, public debates and consultations end with the publication of reports. Yet, consultation practices on both draft legislation and policy documents, including the strategies in the public administration reform area, still suffer from the insufficient and non-transparent provision of feedback on whether and why comments of the consultees were accepted or not. Civil servants, the employees in administrations who performed key tasks in policy design and service delivery are crucial for a proper functioning of public administration. Developed democracies today seek to nurture competent, merit-based civil service, achieving high standards of transparency and integrity in its conduct. Advertisements for employment in public administration in the Western Balkans are widely promoted and open for all candidates. But the competition procedures themselves are still complicated and the decisions of the selection boards are generally available to the public, but only partially. In most cases of annulment or cancellation of the competition procedures, the public remains denied the information on the reasons for such annulments. Except for Albania and Montenegro, civil servants in the region generally disagree that people in their institution are recruited based on qualifications and skills. One of the main problems refers to the politicization of senior management positions. In 2019, not a single appointment of senior executives in North Macedonia was based on competition, while 94% in Serbia were appointed with acting statuses without competition, often in open breach of the current legislation. Most of the surveyed civil servants in the region believe that senior civil servants are often or always appointed thanks to political support. In most administrations in the region, there are no limits on temporary engagements for performance of tasks characteristic of civil service. Serbia is the only exception in this regard, as there is a general limit that no more than 10% of the total number of employees paid from the state budget can be hired on temporary basis. The opinion of almost half of the surveyed civil servants in the region is still that temporary engagement to positions that should be held by civil servants is quite common. Accountability assumes the existence of lines of responsibility and an understanding of a relationship between the one who lays accounts and the one who is accounted to. This means that each part of an organization is internally accountable and that the institution is externally accountable to the political, judicial and social systems and oversight institutions and is providing wide access to public information. 
All administrations in the Western Balkan region are implementing laws guaranteeing the right of access to information of public significance. These laws in the Western Balkans still rank highly in global terms, although in most cases rankings have deteriorated since the previous part monitor. Civil society organizations in the region have continued to express largely negative views on how free access to information is implemented. One-fifth of them believes that public authorities record sufficient information and data to enable proper exercise of this right. In addition, almost a half of CSOs who participated in the survey do not see that sanctions for the violation of this right bear adequate consequences for those responsible, with Albania being the positive outlier. State administration bodies mostly provide complete and up-to-date information on their websites. That information is, however, not equally accessible and even to a smaller degree made citizen-friendly. This means that a significant portion of the information remains published in a bureaucratic fashion without using simplified language or presentation. On a positive note, institutions have demonstrated more proactiveness this time around in providing information through their websites regarding how they cooperate with the public and the civil society, including how they perform public consultation processes. Still, institutions rarely publish annual work reports, except for Bosnia-Herzegovina and Montenegro, whereas limited budget transparency remains as prominent as ever. Serbia is still the only notable exception in this regard, as its administrative bodies publish budgetary data in their information booklets. In the eyes of any citizen, the provision of public services is among the most tangible activities of public administration enabling the citizens to exercise their rights and freedoms. The outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic has raised citizens' demands for services, especially contactless ones, while at the same time it has reminded public administrations of the paramount importance of providing services in a timely, simple and efficient manner. When it comes to the use of administrative services, the general attitude among the citizens in the region is primarily positive. More than half of them recognize efforts to simplify administration, which is an increase from two years ago. And they also recognize that contact with public administration has become easier, or that it takes less time to get a service. However, more than a third of citizens still do not know that they can access certain services electronically, whereas two-thirds of those that know how to access them have not actually used them. Serbia is the only example in the region with more than half of frequent users of e-services. Citizens across the region confirm that they have more opportunities to give an opinion on the quality of administrative services, but service providers scarcely publish citizens' feedback or any reports on customer satisfaction on their websites. Contrary to overall positive public attitudes, civil society actors still have concerns over accessibility of services and the negative perceptions peak on how service provision is adapted to vulnerable groups of population. Revenues of national budgets stem largely from taxpayers' money, so the proper management of public finances is a principal concern of public administrations and the public alike. Well-functioning public finance management should ensure that public funds are used to the maximum benefit of citizens and society. Administrations in the region show different budget transparency practices. Steps forward have been taken, some key budgetary documents are publicly disclosed, and various in-year budgetary reports are available, although they are not necessarily easily accessible or regularly published. But annual reports still do not contain specific information on the results of budget performance in different policy areas except in Albania. Ministries of Finance regularly publish state budgets. Datasets with annual budgetary data are available in some open formats, but they are usually not stored on official open data portals. In the entire region, budgetary data is yet to be fully available in open formats. In North Macedonia and Kosovo, budget transparency is enhanced with new citizen-friendly budget portals. Finally, Supreme Audit institutions have considerably strengthened their public communication. In half of the region, they implement communication strategies, and most Supreme Audit institutions are diversifying tools and products they use to inform the public on audit work. Importantly, citizen-friendly audit summaries are more common, and the Supreme Audit institutions in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro and Serbia publish simplified versions of majority, if not all, audit reports. Central procurement authorities regularly publish annual reports on public procurements, which is mostly reader-friendly. In addition, 
Procurement portals in the region allow different user functions and content, but full access to tender documents is possible for registered users only in most cases. Still, reporting on public procurement by ministries is significantly less transparent, as they publish annual procurement plans more often than reports, with those in Montenegro being the most consistent.